Hi, my name is Victor Mu, the Product Manager for Biddle Consulting Group. Today, I would like to introduce the new custom proofreading test for the OPAC and Critical Testing software. This test allows you to create custom content for a proofreading test that can suit your organization's individual needs. You can create custom proofreading content that contains spelling, grammar, and other errors typically found in documents. Although it's called a custom proofreading test, it's actually so much more than the traditional custom grammar and spelling test. Beyond using the custom proofreading test to test job applicants in the traditional sense, it can also be used to test job incumbents as well as applicants on specific content. For example, let's say your organization just had a safety training seminar. You can set up the custom proofreading test so that the test contains errors in the document that have to be found and corrected or fill in the blanks that an individual would have to go in and enter the correct word. This is especially useful for ensuring that an individual has memorized or is familiar with the safety training seminar that they just went through. The system's flexibility allows it to be used with any content areas. Another feature of the custom proofreading test is that it is not limited to just the English language. You can use any language that is written in a single byte text. This includes, and is not limited to, French, Spanish, and Italian. Now, while this is not a test of mastery of the language, it is a test to ensure that the individual understands the spelling and grammar rules associated with the language. Now, let me show you some examples of the custom proofreading test, which is available in both the OPAC and Critical testing software. For this example, I will be using Critical to create and administer a custom proofreading test. To begin, open the Critical Administrator program. Select the Custom Test Setup option. You will now notice the Proofreading Tests option within this window. Click on it to begin creating your own custom proofreading test. First, give the custom proofreading test a name. For our example, it will be named Forklift Safety Seminar. Next is to enter the knowledge, skills, or abilities measured by this test. In this case, it will be the knowledge of forklift safety procedures and proofreading skill. You are also given the option of uploading a custom instruction file. To use the default file, just leave this section blank. To begin creating your custom proofreading test, select the Edit slash Create button. This will open up the proofreading wizard. We highly recommend that the original content be created in a word processor. Then, copy and paste the content into the proofreading wizard. We will then use the wizard to identify grammar and spelling errors that need correction. The other alternative is to create a text document that is formatted to our specific import requirements, then import it into the system using the wizard. Critical users will have access to a template and setup guide for doing so. As recommended, I have created the custom content in a word processor and will copy it over to the wizard. What I have copied over will serve as the correct content or the key we will be adding errors and corrections to this content, which will be reflected in the candidate's proofreading test. To begin editing your content, select the word or phrase that you wish to create an error or correction for. In this case, we will misspell the word seminar. Highlight the word seminar and click add in the toolbar. In the display text box, you will enter the text that will be displayed to the candidate during testing. In this case, we will misspell the word seminar without the I. Next is to categorize the type of error. A list of default categories is provided. In this case, it is a spelling error. Secondary and tertiary categories may be added as an option. When you are done, click OK. You will notice in red is the incorrect spelling, green shows the correct spelling, and purple shows the category. You can also create a custom category for your error type. In this example, we will create a fill-in-the-blank item. Highlight the word you wish to replace, and then click Add in the toolbar. 
In the display text box, enter a series of underscrolls. Since there is no category for fill in the blank, we will create one. You can also make this a subcategory of another category or its own primary category. In this case, we will make it primary. You will now notice that we have the fill in the blank category option. Once again, the red is the incorrect option, green shows the key, and purple is the category type. You may have also noticed that the top half of the content is in English, while the bottom half of the content is in Spanish. As mentioned earlier, the custom proofreading test can handle any single byte character language. When you are done editing your content, you can preview the test and see what it looks like from the candidate's perspective. This can be accomplished by clicking the Preview Test tab near the top of the screen. You will notice all the changes that were made and see what the candidate would see during testing. When you are done previewing, click the Done button on the toolbar. We have also provided extra views which will allow you to view your custom test content in a variety of ways. Of note is the list items option which specifies all of your errors and corrections as well as the key and category. When you have completed your custom proofreading test, click the save icon on the top of the screen. Then name the proofreading test. You may now exit the proofreading wizard. The next step is to add the test document to this test. Simply click Browse and select the custom proofreading test you have just created. Finally, save the test name. The next step is to assign the test you have created to an auto test code. From the main screen, select Auto Test Setup slash Test Creation Wizard. Then select Auto Test Setup. We will create a new auto test code with just the proofreading test. The custom proofreading test can be found on the bottom of the test selection menu under Custom Tests. Now we are going to switch hats and take the role of the candidate and take the test itself. The test is accessed like any other critical test. First we enter the candidate's identification number and enter the test. Now we will begin testing. These are the default instructions for the custom proofreading test. In this case, we will skip the practice test, but one is offered. During this test, candidates will have to show familiarization regarding the content, as well as their ability to proofread errors. During the test, the candidate will make direct changes to the text in order to show corrections. When complete, the candidate will just click the Done button at the upper left side of the screen. It is shown that all tests are completed and the candidate is done testing. Now we will once again switch hats and return to the role of the administrator. Scores for the custom proofreading test can be accessed through the candidate score report. To access the candidate score report, click on the candidate score report button on the main screen. Now we will filter for the specific auto test code and preview the report. Thank you for your continued support of our critical testing software. If you have any questions about the new custom proofreading test, please contact our technical support staff via the contact information at the end of this video. Thank you and have a great day.